to tell you how expensive Bali is. So today we are breaking down our daily cost. We have been in Bali for about 10 days mm -hmm. now, and so we are going to show you what it cost us to stay here, to eat, to do fun activities, to go places. And we're gonna be breaking it all down in US dollars, so you can get an idea of wherever you are from, how much it would cost you. So to give you guys a little bit of an idea of like how much stuff could cost you, so in US dollars, one dollar is almost 14,000 rupiah. Five dollars is 71. So anywhere between like one to four dollars is what we've been shooting for price-wise for all, all of our food. And to give you an idea of how much we're spending in rupiah each night to stay here, we're spending 24 US dollars to stay each night. been getting waters at these Circle K's and they usually have two kinds that we get. One is 6,000 and one is 7,000. So we've been surviving off of less than a dollar water this whole time. Hello. <laughs> so we're gonna go through some of the grocery items that we purchased while we're here just to show you how cheap it is to get snack food. We have honey roasted peanuts. These were a dollar. Thai tea, 6,000 rupees, less than a dollar. It's like 50 cents. Chicken noodles. We survived off of chicken noodle soup while we were experiencing Epi Day. These were 13 each. An orange, you gotta stay healthy, 6,000. These like little pastry things are 13,900. That's about a dollar. And of course, some chocolate cookies. These were, how much, Zach? Uh, five. Five? That's less than 50 cents. So as you can see, it's really easy to buy some really cheap snacks that look really, really good. We haven't been disappointed by any of the snack food, but we're talking about us and we snack all the time. I'd like to point out that in Bali, they have a ban on plastic bags. So if you don't have a plastic bag with you, they're gonna sell you a big bag. This costs 12,000 because we forgot, which is less than a dollar, but still. You get a souvenir bag. Now we're heading into the mall that was right across from the place we were staying that was closed this entire time. We're gonna go to an ATM, get out some cash, and then buy some pastries. Which one, which one, which one? These pastries are from the mall across the road from our old hotel. It finally opened today, so we went inside. This one cost 13,000, this one cost 10. That's almost a little under $2. Happy breakfast. Okay, so now on to accommodation. So the hotel we've been staying at the past couple of nights has been $10.60 a night. It's nothing to really rave about. It's a large hotel room. It is only four minutes from the ocean. But as far as accommodation, like the bathroom isn't really nice. The bathtub has some molding on it. But we only pay $10, so you get what you pay for. Also, you're paying $10 to stay right next to the ocean. We're going to another hotel that's a lot nicer tonight, so we'll give you more information on that in a second. We download this app called Grab, which is like Asian Uber, and so it works the same as Uber does. You run in your own car, and it will take you wherever you need to go. Okay, so we have to go all the way to Kangu, pretty far up north, so it's gonna cost 165 which comes to about $12. This is our Grab driver. Yes, with R. So since Bali is kind of like built on tourism, I mean everybody here is a Bali, it's been doing this tourism thing for such a long time. They have tons of stands where you can go and rent bikes, rent a car for the day, they can go on excursions. You can buy your rent. tickets to attractions. Yeah. You can go to specific places, that, like they will take you there. Yeah. You just have to ask. Yeah. But the thing is, you need to do your research before you set yourself on a price. So like go around and ask each stand in an area, like how much would it and be And they to are here. willing to negotiate. Yes, they are. So, so get the we price talked, in your head. Yeah. We talked talk a few people down on prices, and that really helped us save. 
So hiring a private driver cost us 300,000, which was kind of on the high side, but compared to what Grab was gonna cost us to go one way, it was cheaper to do that round trip. And so if we're yeah. doing excursions and things, you can hire a private driver to go the distance, which was about two and a half hours. So it was a very, very long trek, but bike is definitely the best way to go. And it's Grab slash, yeah, private driver. And you can just walk around a lot of places like Ubud and Kunta, and, you, you, and you can see so many things. Now we're in a place that costs thirty dollars a night. I mean, you can do it all. You can get a villa that's in the rice paddy fields for like twenty to fifty dollars, depending on what you want. You can get swimming pools. Everything's accessible here, and it's all under fifty dollars. Thing here is that you can really find whatever your price range is. You can find it here in Bali, in Kuta, Changu, and Ubud. Just depends on what you're willing to experience. Yeah, like our ten dollar hotel was what four minutes from the beach. It yeah. Was it was kind of sketchy, but it's fine because it was next to the beach. We came here to swim, so we did swim. It was awesome. Yeah, so it just depends on what you want your experience to be. Mm -hmm. So actually some of the best meals we've had have actually been the cheapest. So the place we were staying before was actually kind of like in the not nicer part of Kuta. So there was a lot of cheaper restaurants around. And so I got like the best lemongrass noodle soup for 25,000 baht, which is under $2. While we've been here, the most expensive meal we've had yet was 440,000 rupiah, which turns out to be $30. So like, that was our splurge night too. So like $30 goes a really long way here. We treated ourselves like no other. There's a lot of different things in Indonesia you can get, um, a lot of Thai food, a lot of Vietnamese food and their fusion on every different thing from American to Australian. So these are just some prices of the foods here. Um, we're staying in the touristy district, so you can expect these to be a lot more than other places. I thought it was better to show you guys these some prices more, yeah. because you can definitely find cheaper prices in other places. But you can also get way more expensive prices. Yes. So like 45000 in Indonesian currency is about 315 in US dollars. Mm -hmm. So the cheapest we found was 25, but the most expensive we found is like 125. Yeah. So to finish off our video on how expensive it is to be in Bali, we put two days together side by side so you could look at it. So the first is really a day on a budget. And as you can see, we kind of did a lot of things. Zach got a haircut, we did our laundry, we got lunch, we got groceries. We probably went to the beach this day, which is free. And at the end of the day, all of that included, it was $53.02. That is not an expensive day. Down to vacation mode, the cost kind of changed drastically here, but like, honestly, for vacation, this is still not that expensive of a day. So we, we like went to the far side of Bali, so we had a driver for 600 baht, because we were going a really long way. We had a temple visit, we went to the Blue Lagoon where we rented some chairs and some snorkels. Uh, we went to dinner, we even splurged on ice cream, and we got water and snacks, and at the end of the day, it was still $120. So, you can do Bali on a budget, you can go extravagant, but really, Bali can be an inexpensive place to go. You just have to get there. Yeah.